Shalom. Can you say Shalom? Shalom, my friends. This is Max Joseph, and I'm here because I just saw Dora in the Lost City of Gold. Dora is directed by James Bobin and stars my fellow Cleveland native Isabella Monair as the title role, Jeff Wahlberg as her cousin Diego, Madeline Madden, great name, as class president Sammy, and Nicholas Coombe as the lovable nerd Randy. So if for some reason you don't know who or what Dora is, it was one of the longest running shows on Nick Jr. and for some reason they decided to make it into a live action movie. And in a world full of live action remakes, why not add everyone's favorite explorer? Dora is a girl who has spent most of her life exploring the jungle with her parents, played by Eva Longoria and Michael Pena. But now, she faces real danger. High school. And after a crazy class field trip, we find Dora leading Boots, Diego, her classmates, and some strange jungle dude on the biggest adventure to save her parents and solve a lot of jungle puzzles to find the lost city of gold. Parapata. This movie was great. I had a blast. I was absolutely the only adult in there without a child. But it was a really cool experience hearing all the kids laugh at the stuff I would have for sure laughed at when I was their age. You're gonna get invited to some of these parties called rapes. The music sounds like this. Go get it! But now I'm an adult, and I would never laugh at such silly things. There's no need to overreact. Ah! Ah! Get it off! Get it off! So here are my bullet points for Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Bullet point number one. Isabella Monaire was an absolute joy to watch. She brings so much love and silliness to the role that you can't help but love her. And I'd watch out for her in the future because after this performance, I think she's gonna be getting a lot of calls for more work. Bullet point number two. I would 100% watch sequels to this. I would even indulge in a prequel. I'd love to see Diego's journey from the jungle to the real world. I think that would be kind of fun. Bullet point number three. The best word to describe this movie is heart. It has a constant rhythm and a pace to it, and it keeps its beat because of Monaire's terrific work. Bullet point number four. I thought the whole plotline with her going to high school and people making fun of her was gonna get old, but it didn't. In fact, it kind of got funnier. I wish they didn't give away that little bus moment in the trailers, because I think that would have had a much better effect on me. Just be yourself. Uh, excuse me? I'm kind of stuck. Bullet point number five. This is the year of the monkey, I think. Quick question for you to answer in the comments. Who would you choose as your adventure buddy? Boots from Dora and the Lost City of Gold or Abu from Aladdin? Let me know. Bullet point number six. Benicio Del Toro was Swiper the Fox. That deserves its own bullet point. Bullet point number seven. I think the difference between this movie and other family movies is that the script is actually really solid in this. It has great jokes, full circle moments, the characters are more than just one dimensional, and there's an overall arc. Bullet point number eight. If you're not totally sold on this movie, think of it as if Mean Girls, Elf, Indiana Jones, and National Treasure all had a baby. If you like any of those movies, I think you'll enjoy this. Side note slash bullet point 8a. I am sick and tired of waiting for National Treasure 3. What was on page 47? Disney, I'm all about my Marvel movies and I'm actually in the group of people who love these live action remakes, but I cannot for the life of me understand how I don't have National Treasure 3 yet. Give it to me now, please, and thank you. I'm giving Dora and the Lost City of Gold four stars. My friends, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, as well as follow me on Twitter and Instagram at mjoseph492. And if you really love me, please consider being a patron on Patreon, where you can get patron-only content, guest interviews, giveaways, and lots more. You can even give me a film to review, and that video will be dedicated to you. Shalom, my friends.